This is a video over order of operations. This topic should be review, but there's a few example problems in case you need a refresher. When you do these, you're going to want to avoid using your calculator because when you use your calculator, if you type anything in incorrectly, um, it could cause an error in the problem. So do as much as you possibly can by hand. And if you need to use the calculator for simple calculations, like two to the third, for example, because you don't know what that is, that's fine. But again, use the calculator as little as possible. Just in case you forget, order of operations, we typically use this little acronym PEMDAS, which means parentheses, exponents, um, multiply or divide, and add or subtract. These last two, we do from left to right. So whichever operation appears first is what you do first. So just because M comes first and PEMDAS doesn't mean we always multiply first. We just go from left to right. So this will help you remember what order you should be doing these problems in. So in example one, I have an expression. I want to simplify it. I'm going to do that using PEMDAS. So first thing I do is look for any parentheses. Now, technically this is a parenthesis, but Parentheses means I actually have something in parentheses that's going on, like 2 plus 2. In this case, these parentheses just mean multiply, so that doesn't count for my parentheses. So no parentheses. Next, I look for exponents. No exponents. Then I have multiply or divide. So I have both of those happening here and here. And remember, we're going from left to right, not in order of M and then D. So I'm going to do the division first. 54 divided by 3 is 18. And then I'm going to carry down this 2. Next, I'm going to do the multiplication. So 18 times 2 is 36. And then lastly, I have addition or subtraction. I have addition. 7 plus 36 is 43. For example 2, remember again we're using PEMDAS. The division bar kind of creates these parentheses on the top and the bottom, so before I can do that final division, I have to simplify everything on the numerator and denominator first. So starting with P for parentheses, I do have one set on the top right here. So I want to simplify that first. In order to simplify that, I need to do that exponent. So I have 2 squared, which is 4. And then I am just going to rewrite everything else. Still finishing off my parentheses, I have 7 minus 4, which is 3. And then I'm just going to rewrite the rest of the problem again. So I have parentheses done. There's no longer any exponents. Now I'm looking for multiplication or division from left to right. So on my numerator, there's nothing. So I'm just going to copy that down. On the denominator, I do have multiplication here. So I have negative 14 plus, and then 2 times 5 is 10. Um, no longer have any multiplication or division, so now I'm doing addition or subtraction from left to right. Remember, before I can do my final division, there's kind of these implied parentheses on the numerator and denominator, so I have to finish those first. So 3 plus 17 is 20. Negative 14 plus 10 is negative 4. 
And now finally I can do that final division. So 20 divided by negative 4 is negative 5. When you do these problems, you're really not going to want to use a calculator because if you mistype anything, it's going to throw the entire problem off. So do as much as you possibly can or all of it by hand um, instead of using your calculator. <clears throat> You might have noticed in the examples, but if not, um, we're just going to talk about really quickly what the difference between these two items is. So in the first expression, I have negative 2 squared. In the second expression, I have the quantity negative 2 squared. In this first expression, the, th the only term that's getting squared is the 2. 2 squared. So 2 squared is going to be 4. And then I have this negative out in front. So that answer ends up being negative 4. On the second expression, everything in the parentheses is getting squared. So this time it's negative 2 squared. So that's negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. So see, this causes a big difference because here I have positive 4, here I have negative 4. So just make sure you pay really close attention to those types of differences.